Hello everyone, welcome back to Banished, I'm Paradox Gamer. Last time we started the building of a foundry, which is the same as the um, forge, but it's on the water, so it won't take up as much space. And I'm running out of iron because I can't produce enough iron from iron ore in my foundry, which is maxed out with four people. That's why we need the foundry. And it's currently getting built. So we got an extra guy now pulling iron ore out of the ground. So we got the iron ore ready. Now we just need to produce iron from the iron ore. And they will probably need furnace fuel for that. How much furnace fuel do we have? 200. Okay. Um, that's not a lot of furnace fuel. Let's see, who's working on that? That's this guy. He's turning firewood into furnace fuel. Uh, we can get... Uh, we, can, we can only have one guy working on that. So we might need another fuel refinery to keep up with the furnace fuel. Now we could also make furnace fuel from coal. Which would mean that our... Yeah, let's do that. That would mean that we don't produce as much firewood, which means we can get more logs. I should have done that a long time ago, so... Use coal for furnace fuel. Obviously. And I will just follow the furnace fuel, see if we have enough. Actually, this guy is using the water, so I don't know if he actually needs furnace fuel. We'll see that now. Yeah, he needs furnace fuel and iron ore. To make iron. So even though he's on the water, he still needs the fuel. And we'll get... This maxed out to also four people. Like that. So now we're producing more iron. Should be twice as much. And we're not using logs to produce firewood. These guys will be pretty much out of a job at this point. But that's okay. That should mean more locks in general. Okay, so we got that set up now. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll monitor the um, amount of iron. It should go up drastically now. Meanwhile, we need to build up over here. So how big is this circle? Yeah, we gotta go around that. And we got a merchant. With food. Nice. So let's sell some stuff. And he's got a lot of food. Selling. Reeds. Um, not, not the herbs this time, but pearls bone meal and leather and then also feathers we got plenty of those get rid of them uh, let's wait with the rope and the wine no let's sell all the wine sell all the wine let's see if we need rope I'm gonna buy all your sugar beets all your guave all your kiwis, all your cucumbers, your dates. Okay, that's expensive. Yeah, I cannot afford that. Unless we sell the rope. That'll take us to 24, and then we still have 400 for nectarines. 200 nectarines. And that's 20,000 worth of food. Right there. 
Wow. That's a lot of food. A lot of puzzle expansion. Still hurting a little bit on iron. Right, so let's get this path going over here and then come around down. And then go in. Let's take it all the way in. Just like that. I wish you could assign more people to the um, trade post. But that's already maxed out. Also, we'll need better access to the market. Still hurting on um, iron, but let's just give, give them some time to get up to speed. That should work out well. I think I'll get another uh, storage over here. Got plenty of, of uh, wood suddenly. Changing that uh, furnace fuel from uh, from wood to coal could probably be the single best thing that I've ever done in this particular game. Oh, these guys are now trapped until I can... I don't know why can they not come back. Some of them can. This guy's walking on the water. This guy's not. Oh, that's strange. Alright. Whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, these are the nomads. Oh, I didn't know they actually showed up. <laughs> so where will they go then? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn them away. And what's going to happen to them? They're just going to go. Where are they? Go Where are they going? Let's follow the nomads. Crossing the town. A hundred nomads. Stuff like that can really ruin your game. If you allow a hundred nomads in and you're not ready for that, suddenly you need clothes for them, you need tools, you need um, you need food, obviously, and, and they'll probably be unskilled labor. So they'll be slow, they'll be a big liability on your society. Plus they bring in diseases. They're just walking straight through my rice paddies. Come on, guys. We're gonna eat that rice. Uh, where are they headed? Are they crossing another rice paddy? They seem to like those. They're taking the longest route out of here. Like they're taking in the scenery just one last time before they have to leave. Looks like they're coming down this way. Passing right through the school. Or is that the herb mender? And down this way. And then what? Turn right. Oh, there's somebody coming from this side as well. Look at the amount of nomads. And they just seem to disappear into this mountain. Do they reappear on the other side? No. Well, that was fun. Okay, where, where, where was I? 
yeah we were building that and we have a connection over there great let me just take stock of this fishing we can build stuff all the way on that side it's all good how is the food situation anyway so this is the tools maxed out at a 300 it seems and that was because we were lacking the iron so of course they cannot make the tools if they don't have the necessary uh, materials now food food is still pretty good so let's just get some houses up and running I've got plenty of wood now I, I'm I don't know if it's because of switching to coal but I have a feeling that that is exactly what happened so let's put in four houses here and a rice paddy down here because we need more green put that there And then we can have the chicken breeder right there. And, and, and. Ooh, we've got a lot of wine. I need to sell all my wine next time. Yeah, I think the limiting factor, the limiting factor on reeds, for example, and feathers for that matter, is the ability to get them to the trade post now. Because we have it, but we just can't get it over here. I mean, if you look at the trade post and see what we actually have, we have 5,000 reeds, but only 1,200 feathers. And in the inventory, we should have a lot of feathers. No, only a thousand actually. What about the reeds? Uh, 3,700. Yeah, okay, I'll take that back then. It's actually just the amount of reeds that is. We're just producing so much reeds. Okay, so five thousand in here. That should still be that should still be sufficient. Although I feel like I should take it up a notch again. Let's go with six. Yeah, but still, when you you know sell six thousand reeds and sell that, then you have to bring six thousand reeds from your various. Uh, storages into the trade post and that was what I meant I mean that is what taking that's what uh, takes up a lot of time and by the time you've brought all the reeds in then you have already produced the same amount of reeds out here let's see where the trader brings seats sorry Right. Uh, let's see. Let me just check student wise. We have twelve uh, schools with. 12 student capacity each that's 144 students that we can house and we have only 110 so we're still okay on schools
Hmm. So, okay, so what do we build here? We need stuff. Da, 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 and house. Stuff and houses. That's what we need. And some houses down that way. And come out this way. Let's zoom out and see where we add. Yeah, we're gonna continue filling out this area. And then we still have all of this. I can see that we have 60 iron, so that amount is coming up. And that also means that we have now capacity to make more tools. That amount is almost capped now, and it will cap soon, which is a joy to watch. That's really nice. And now we're just waiting for stuff to get built. And I still need another star for happiness and half a heart. Not sure if I can get that up. Perhaps the amount of luxuries has something to do with it. I mean the ratio between luxuries and population. I don't know, but that could be could be it. No citizens are available. There we go. <clears throat> and we have three houses coming in here. And the dock coming out that way. That took a lot of wood though. Things take time. No need to rush it. Get another house in there. Do we need something over here? cut down those trees and there's a little bit of stone over here as well what's gonna what's the mission got coats hmm well if we have plenty of reeds here we do then I'll buy some Frock coats. Give me a hundred frock coats, and uh, you can get two thousand reeds from me. Deal. All right.
da, 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 da. Right. Build more stuff here. Go. Uh, where do we need the next market? That has to be all the way down here. So we're pretty far off. Yeah, that's gonna cover this area over here. So that's that's not gonna be any time soon. And we're okay on water shrines as well. So I'm gonna go with this guy. The herb grower and the herb mender. Like that. And I guess we can put another rice field over here. That should finish up that stretch. Locks a hundred. These trees are still growing. But we can set them to cut now. As soon as they're ready, they will start cut cutting down trees. And then potentially I could put another one, but I don't think there's any space. I can't build here. We can see that by uh, just putting down something. You can see here that this is the edge of the map. It doesn't go further out than that. And there's nothing here we can build until we come down here. And still it's very limited. So I don't think we're gonna get any more trees than what we have now. Food is all time high, 250,000, a quarter of a million food. How is the overall food situation? It's pretty stable. Doesn't go down or anything. Right, so let's put a break in here, guys, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.